So in this lecture, we're going to talk about blood grouping. What is forward blood grouping? So you're going to understand what RH factor is. So forward blood grouping, this is the method that we use to identify the blood group of a person. So there are two types of blood grouping. There is forward blood grouping and reverse blood grouping. Forward blood grouping, this is where the ancelum are used using ancella A, ancella B, and ancella Z. So why is blood grouping has to be done? There are a lot of reasons why blood group is to be done. The first reason is to help a patient find a suitable donor of an organ. So before an organ transplant, the blood group of the patient has to be identified and also the blood group of a donor has to be identified. The other reason is to investigate how common a blood group is. This is for research purpose, knowing which blood group is common in a particular population. It can also help to plan for a healthy pregnancy. Okay? Why planning for a healthy pregnancy? If a mother is RH positive, then fetus RH negative. What can happen? This can lead to incompatibility where the mother's blood start producing the antibodies then that antibodies it crosses the placenta and attack the red blood cells of a fetus. Hence this can lead to death. There are eight blood groups that are common. There are blood group A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative, AB positive, AB negative, O positive, or O negative. So what is this RH factor? RH factor, it is an antigen that is present on the surface of the red blood cells. This means that if a patient, if a person has RH factor on the surface of the red blood cells, then that person is RH positive. Then if the person doesn't have the RH factor on the surface of the red blood cells, then that person is RH negative. A person can, can't be both RH positive and RH negative. Same, a person can't be both blood group A and blood group O. Only one blood group a person can have among these eight blood groups that we have mentioned. The antigen of the red blood cell, it specifies the type of the blood group of that patient. For example, in talk of blood group A, blood group A, it has antigen A. Remember I said the antigen specified in the blood group of a patient. So the antigen, since it's A, this means that it, this is blood group A. Then, this patient, person, it has a antibody B. So this is opposite. A antigen for blood group A. This means that the antibody that is present in serum, it's a B. Remember the antibodies, it doesn't present on the surface of red blood cells, but it is present in the serum or plasma. Okay? So in this image, we are going to see the difference between the serum and the plasma okay so now this is blood group b since it is blood group b what is the antigen the antigen is b since the antigen is b the antigen identifies this type of the red blood the type of blood group since the antigen is b what is the blood group b then what is the antibody that is present in the serum it is a, the anti A. We have also a B blood group. Since it's a B, this means that it has a B antigen on the surface of the red blood cells. Then what of in the cell? What type of antibody is there? There is no any antibody that is there. Then blood group O it is opposite to a B. Blood group O doesn't have any 
antigen surface on the lead blood cells but it only have the antibodies in the serum which is anti a and anti b rh positive can receive blood from both positive rh positive and rh negative this means that if the person is blood group a positive this person can receive from a positive and a negative also o positive and o negative because o it is the universal donor then if a person is rh negative that person can only receive blood from rh negative negative can only receive from negatives this means that if a person is blood group b negative this person can only receive blood from b negative and o negative only remember we said o is the universal donor does this mean that o positive can also give blood to b negative no why because b it is b negative meaning positive can't give a negative so now this has answered the absolute universal donor for all it is all negative because negative can give to both positive and negative but negative cannot receive from positive it can only receive from negatives what of ab ab it is known to be the universal recipient what does that mean it can receive blood from any type of group but there is it is it has also an absolute universal recipient is it negative or is it positive it is ab positive ab positive can receive from both negative and positive hence ab positive it is an absolute universal recipient not a b negative what is the principle behind blood grouping well the principle blood behind blood grouping it is the reaction between the antigen and the antibody it's corresponding antibodies and antigen when we are giving a blood group a okay to a patient with blood group A. A blood group A has A antigen. That's A antigen. Take note of this. It has got A antigen. This is blood group A. Then the blood group A from the donor, it has also A antigen and b antibody okay so when these blood combine there can never be any agglutination there why because there is no correspondence reaction correspondence reaction between antigen and the antibody remember the antigen for this blood group a it's a what is the antigen for this donor blood group i mean the antibody for this blood group it's b okay so it's the antigen and the antibody this is antigen a this is the antibody b hence this is a this is b there can never be any correspondence reaction there can never be any corresponding reaction here that's why you can see their agglutination but if this patient having blood group a okay then this patient has blood group b then the antigen for this blood group 
B Donna it's C B what of the antibody it's A have you seen A this A which is the antigen then A which is the antibody for the blood group B which has the antigen A so it's the antigen for this blood group A to the antibody for this blood group B which has antibody A so this can be a corresponding reaction A react with A have you seen this it will form like a lock and key reaction A recognize its corresponding letter A to A then that's why we see those agglutination when a patient with blood group A is given blood which is blood group B because of this is the science this is the principle behind blood grouping okay so these are ancilla that are used there is ant A ant B ant D for ant A it's blue in color then ant B it's yellow in color then ant D it's colorless so these are requirement requirements that you need to have in order to do a B or blood grouping you need to have a pasture pipette tubes or towers you need to have a centrifuge this is a test should be a centrifuge then you need to have ancelum which is a b and d you have to have a marker for labeling your tubes you have to have a pen for using it to write these outs the stopwatch patient's blood and normal saline so now let's just see how the method is done you need to remember you have to you need to have all the previous requirements that we have mentioned here in order to do the experiment the test so the blood has to be collected in a paper top container containing EDTA okay this is the anticoagulant chemical that is should be present in a tube so a blood should be connect, collected for the patient or a, pe a person okay then what is to be done then you have to centrifuge the blood that you have collected in a centrifuge okay you have to centrifuge that 3000 rpm for five minutes so that you can need decant the plasma part of the patient's blood okay and remain with the cells okay you have then to wash the blood or the cells that has meant three times using normal saline in order to make cell suspension so it has to be washed three times using normal saline okay our goal is to make cell suspension there is something to take note here cell suspension are made by mixing normal saline which is 0.9 percent sodium chloride in composition so how is the measurement so the normal saline should be approximately two times the volume of the red cells then it should be centrifuged after centrifuging then you have to decant the spanatant to remain with the washed cell repeat the same experiment three times okay so when you have you are done washing cells three times that's how now you can make five percent cell suspicion how do you make it you get one drop of washed cells mixed with it 19 drops of normal cell line this one drop of washed cells it's the cells that you have washed three times using normal cell line and 19 drops of normal cell line to make five percent cell suspension okay now it's the test you have to get a drop of five percent cell suspension the one that you're from making a drop 
you put it either in a tube or on a towel. Remember where you're putting the drop there. For you not to forget, label them in advance. If it is the tube, tube one, you have to have three tubes. You label it A, the other tube B, the other one, label it as, as D. Okay? So, in each tube, put a drop of cell suspension. Okay? Then, after putting a drop, then you have to add now two drops of ancella A in a tube that you labeled tube A. Then, in a tube you labeled B, you add ancella B. Then, in a tube that you labeled this D, you have to add ancella D. Thereafter, you centrifuge it. After centrifuging it, you have to look for agglutination, the cramping, okay, the precipitate. Let's say if test tube A has shown precipitate, clamping or agglutination, that means that that blood group is blood group A, okay. If it is in test tube B that has shown clamping, precipitation, or agglutination, that means that in a test tube where you are seeing the clamping, that's the blood group of the patient. Okay? Then for D, the tube labeled D, if you see any agglutination or clamping, that indicates that the patient is RH positive. If there is no cramping, it shows that that patient is RH negative. Okay? Okay. So now, let's say we have clampings in a tube labeled A and clampings in a tube labeled B. That means that that blood group is AB. Okay? Then, if there is no clamping in a tube that is labeled, D. It means that patient is blood group AB negative because if there's no clamp in there shows that it's RH negative. Then if there is clamping only in B and clamping in D, that shows that that patient, patient, person's blood is B positive. To the drop where you added and D when you see clampings and to do it only indicates either RH positive or not. Clamping shows RH positive. No clamping shows RH negative. So this is what we can see here. Okay? Consider this one to be tube A. Then G here. Consider this diagram. What do you think is the blood group here? It's A B positive because there are clampings in all the tubes if they if it tube d happened to have no clampings this could have been a b negative so this is the blood group okay so if you don't have tubes you can also use towels okay this is towel method here same procedure but the only difference is you only use a towel you put again one drop of cell suspension at three portions just like it is indicated here three points here and here and here okay thereafter now start adding two drops of ancelum where it is labeled a add ancelum a where it is labeled b Add and sell them B. Where it is labeled D, add and sell them D. Then you have to shake or using slide shaker. After some minutes, then look at the results. According to the result that you are able to see, what is the blood group here? It's a B negative. Because at B, that's why there is clampings. At A, there is no. At D as well, there is no. So this is B negative. So 
you can also take um you can also look at these okay you can also look at this what blood group is this it's a a positive what about this blood group it's a b positive then this it's a, a b positive this is how forward blood group is done so the next video that we're going to consider we are going to focus on reverse blood grouping how is the procedure and how is the interpretation of the result thank you so much if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe for more videos and updates and click the bell icon for notification whenever i post new video